A new affordable housing complex is now opened in the Hill District. It's in the old YMCA in Center Avenue and will now be known as Center Avenue Housing. Bryant Reed heard from community leaders about the project and what it means to the community. The old YMCA is now a four-story affordable housing building that not only brings redevelopment to the Hill District, but only makes space for people to move in. Leaders say it was a $7 million project and worth every penny. The revival of an iconic building in Pittsburgh's Hill District has come to fruition. The Center Avenue YMCA, a 100-year-old building in desperate need of renovation, has been turned into a 74-unit affordable housing complex. The going rate for rooms? Only $412 a month. Stepping into this building, the history is palpable. You feel that the ancestors are not far, um, and it's very clear that this is a special space. The Y has always offered low-cost housing to men. Sham Barksdale used to be one of them, but now he's working at the new complex. It's beautiful. It's, it's a, uh, a total 360 from the way it used to look. Um, it's, it's a big improvement, you know. Um, it, it warms my heart tremendously. He's been keeping up with the changes and says affordable housing can be difficult to come by, but this will help the community he knows so well. The way the building used to look compared to now, like it's an elevator. It wasn't an elevator before. It's only, even though it's only four floors, it was a... Uh, a killer walking up and down those steps. The top to bottom renovation is something that was needed in the hill, bringing something so cherished back to life. And with the gym still intact and more living space, this historic YMCA is now remodeled for the 21st century, but still holds a piece of the past. You'll see a representation of the Hill District community through the years, but also um, life inside these walls. So now that this project is done, what's next? Leaders say they plan to do the same thing with the YMCA on the north side and hope to have a groundbreaking within a year. I'm Bryant Reed, KDK News.